Just thinking out loud. Hi, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on a, what is this, Thursday? It is Thursday at 3.14 in the afternoon. I uh, mentioned in my last video, I believe, while I was talking about cleaning the bench, and it's still not done, I took a couple days off. Uh, the little break uh, in the action there, as it were. Uh, <laughs> uh, as I mentioned the last time, I am really considering getting back to this uh, on my next uh, real uh, video. This is not a real video. This is just me out. Uh, it's flapping, I guess, but it's flapping out loud or thinking out loud. Whatever you want to call it. Um, I just wanted to kind of go over some ideas that I'm having. I've already sent a te uh, uh, email to Bob about this, and um, what I'm thinking uh, is really <laughs> this is huge. Okay, this is thing. This thing is really big. Um, I like it. The, the idea of what I've had for doing the dual, I, I like this thing here, uh, this uh, uh, case, uh, housing, whatever you want to call this thing. But, I've had some second thoughts on what to put in here. Uh, dual DC power supply, yes, I want that in there. Also, though, I'm thinking, you know, what if... And this is all in the thinking stages as it was. But what if I incorporated basically the BK970 radio analyst into this? Um, how neat would that be? How, how nice would it be to have a, a, a shop panel, whatever you want to call it, bench panel, that had basically all the uh, components you needed to service radios, uh, and that's tube or transistor radios. And my thoughts on this was, okay, besides the DC power supply, you would need an AC power supply, and they would need to be independent. In other words, you would have an AC power supply to provide tube voltages, uh, filament voltages, I should say, or stuff like that. And then, of course, the DC for the uh, B+. Plus. Um, that's that's two obvious things that it needs. Uh, it needs a uh, RF and AF signal generator. I say RF and AF. Basically RF with modulation and an AF out. Basically just like the B and K um, uh, E200D over here. Basically the same thing. It doesn't have to be that elaborate. This is just, uh, in other words, we're just working on uh, basically uh, AM, FM radios, things like that. It would, it could be used for other stuff as well. But I mean, you know, keep it, keep it simple enough to where it's not going to require something huge to do. And I'll go over that more here in a minute. But that would be the other component. Also, uh, AF and RF signal tracing. It would incorporate that as well. Uh, I've got plenty plenty of room to put speakers in this. I've got each end could be a speaker uh, inside there. With a grill, wouldn't be wouldn't be hard to do. Would be easy. Um, okay, that's that's another thing. The other thing I'm thinking about is a um, digital uh, meter for um, measuring voltages. In other words, just like a, a just like my uh, uh, fluke up here. I mean, it wouldn't have to be that ac that accurate. In other words, this is. The things I'm looking at is more like panel type voltage or meters and things like that. And uh, it could be accurate enough. I mean, you know, you want something fairly accurate. Plus it would need a analog, uh, at least AC, for uh, alignments. And that would be a good uh, thing to have as well. Um, I, all this would be possible in, a, in an enclosure this size, I believe. Um, using modern modern uh, smaller components and stuff like that to do it I believe it would be a, a, a doable thing I could get another um, little variac like this one it wasn't that expensive put it on that end 
and have the AC on one end, DC on the other. Uh, put my meters anywhere I wanted to put them up here. There's all kinds of room to put them here. Uh, again, the speaker could go on the end as far as for the uh, um, signal tracer. And uh, don't have to don't have to be any kind of certain special uh, thing. Just uh, you know something to measure uh, radio signals. It would have to be RF and AF. Of course that. As we've seen, that's that's very well possible in the probe itself. And basically, a high gain amplifier is basically all you need to go along with it. So that's simple enough to do. Um, I had some thoughts, maybe some for some dedicated uh, 6.3, 12.6 uh, filament voltages out, outputs just for uh, a higher higher current. Because the one I was thinking about this end would not be that high of a current. Uh, on the uh, meter, uh, maybe these are like a 1.75, I think, on the amps, two amps at the most. And sometimes, you know, you need a little bit more than that for the uh, tube filaments. So, you know, if you if you had a dedicated uh, radio with a 6.3 uh, volt tubes, you could use those instead uh, in the, of this because this would be more useful for AC/DC type uh, five tube uh, all American five type radios and things like that. And I think that would just, you know, I think that would be a very handy thing to have. Let's just think of all the, the uh, instruments I can... Oh, the other thing I, I know I forgot to tell Bob, uh, a frequency counter. And those, if you've seen those little ones, I've already got one. And that could be incorporated into that is very well, easily as well. Uh, it could also be switchable to, to be used as, as the uh, frequency indicator for the RF generator. And also as a standalone frequency counter, uh, very easily to do, switch that, add a switch to it. That's pretty easy to do. So you know, this is the things I'm thinking about uh, because, like I said, if you had that in one unit, that would just about do you as far as uh, working on most most things. Actually, I mean all radios, but uh, even most things that you could you could you could go, go a little further you know if you want to do some shortwave stuff or something like that put your your meter your RF uh, generator to go wherever you wanted to go with it and you know that's that's easy enough to do and I probably would do that as well but like I said I'm just trying to think of uh, I've got this big huge panel here and it's it's neat I like like the idea I came up with of doing this but I, I want it to be a little bit more functional and more um, uh, useful, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, obviously, all this doesn't have to be done at once. Uh, I still can go ahead and do the uh, DC power supply. I, I may uh, hold off on where I mount the meters because uh, if I decide to add more, I might, I might try to do some more planning on this before I actually do the, uh, the dual DC power supply because uh, I want to be sure that uh, I get... Uh, maximum efficiency out of this uh, enclosure. I think that's uh, kind of a neat thing. That's just what I've been thinking about. I know you guys, uh, I, I, I didn't make a video the last couple of days and uh, um, I, I, I don't know, I get in a funk sometimes. Everybody does, I know. Uh, so, and that's pretty, basically been taking off, just kind of doing nothing. And I've uh, been enjoying that actually. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I've asked Bob to give me his um, um, thoughts on it as well. Um, this is just its just an ideal type of bench panel, and I really don't want to waste it. I just want to make the most useful use of it, basically, the most efficient use of it as possible. Uh, just because I use this as that doesn't mean I have to do away with my... Uh, AC output over here, uh, the original uh, Variac that I bought, that is a high, higher amperage unit. It, it goes up to 5 amps, and uh, I probably still could use that for a lot of different things. Uh, this would just be a general purpose uh, radio type thing for tubes, basically. The AC could be used, obviously, for anything, but, you know, it, it would be mainly for tubes and, and uh, tube filaments and things like that, so... Ah, uh, let me let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, anything else I can incorporate? 
Uh, there's, you know, the uh, the BK970 uh, has a transistor tester built into it as well, but I figure if you've got a digital meter with diode settings, that, that would be, you know, sufficient for trans, trans or, uh, transistor testing. And really, you don't need a dedicated test for that, I don't think. I don't think that's kind of a waste of space on that uh, tester, but, you know, somebody at BK didn't agree with me, so... <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I've thought about a small scope to go in there, too. I don't know. That's That might be pushing it a little bit further. I'm not a big scope user, number one. Um, I think, I think as far as signal, trace, or, uh, yeah, signal tracing and radios are concerned, the RFAF signal tracers that we've been working with are more than sufficient. Uh, I don't think you really need a scope, uh, like I said. Um, so these, this would be the things that, uh, again, I was thinking about for this panel. And again, I think uh, you guys have your ideas. Any ideas would be appreciated. And uh, let me know what you think about it. And uh, I think we're going to go from there. But like I said, those are the things that uh, I have come up with. And if, if maybe you guys come up with something a little bit better or a little bit additional or whatever, uh, let me know. Again, the next thing I want to do is, is add a bottom to this. I have this piece here that I may use for the bottom. This is a metal panel off the back of the dryer, I think, of back of the uh, original panel, I think is what it was. Uh, so I'm sure it could be used as a, uh, a bottom piece for it. And uh, that would be easy enough to fit in there and uh, do that. So that's just uh, one of the things I'm thinking about. I, I thought about using the uh, MDF uh, type material and I do have that as well, but you know, I thought, well, I had that metal one, that would be just as good. Uh, maybe even better, I don't know. So again, your thoughts appreciated. Uh, like I said, any thoughts on miniaturization for uh, putting this all in one unit? Uh, we, we've seen how the uh, the uh, radio analyst, the 970, does it. That's older technology, obviously. I think that was in the 60s or 70s. Um, so everything has shrunk since then. And, of course, you know, uh, we could do the same pretty easily uh, in here. And this could be a very comprehensive piece of equipment for the bench, I think. And uh, so your thoughts on it, let me know. I appreciate it. And you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you.